We took uh, this closet, non-functional, disorganized, just a mess, and we turned it into this closet, popping, looking like a fresh showroom floor. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, I'm going in the closet. <laughs> yes, you would be surprised to know that one of us has a shoe problem. Me. Yeah, I and it's not me. Problem. Well, at least it's not mine that we're gonna work on this week. Yeah, not this week. <laughs> she also has a shoe problem. It's just not as big. And we had a kid move back, so she booted all of my shoes out of my shoe room. Well, we had a kid move back, so I had to move my office into our bedroom, yeah. which had this weird sitting area that we really had nothing in, except for lines of vans. Just lines of vans. So now we have to do something with those vans because they had to come out of the sitting area and my desk is now well, in there. Well, the reason they're in the sitting room area is because I did not have enough room in my closet. Yeah. My closet is like teeny tiny. It's like six by six, but there's so much stuff in there now and random clothes and clothes that are like 10 years old that I don't wear. They're just, they're just in there for posterity, really. They're just <laughs> hanging out, waiting we, to become antiques. We have, what's funny is we do have separate closets. There is, I guess, a his and hers closet. One is a small closet and one is a bigger, bigger. I wouldn't say it's all that big, but it's a bigger closet, and that's my closet. So it's a nice size closet. When you have 50 pairs of shoes in a tiny little closet, it doesn't work. So we gotta doesn't find work. some. We gotta find a solution, yeah. and that's what we're working on this week. So I want to do something with bikes, cause you know I love bikes. I love bikes. Do you even have a bike tattoo? He lo I, I can't even. I can't even express how much he loves his bike. I do. Oh. He didn't just love bikes he loves he's got a lot of bikes he just he loves them a lot like of bikes, he loves them a lot of bike parts yes a lot of bike ramps but anyway i couldn't think of anything like closet related i couldn't tie bikes into closets so i figured a skateboard is bike's cousin and i'll just do like a skateboard themed closet makeover so that's what i'm doing today Skateboard closet makeover! <laughs> we just did our own sound effects. Yeah, I just... <laughs> She's like a beatbox. You'd be surprised. Step one! Demo. We're gonna demo everything in there. Well, not really demo. We're just taking everything out and pulling the shelves out. Right, so it just has those builder wire shelves in there. We're taking those out and we're gonna build a clothes rack. Now, there's also, all right, so here's a funny story. When we moved into this house, Garrett has a dresser from 1982. 1982? I don't know, yeah, it is an old, cheap, super cheap, uh, what is it like? Um, laminated, yeah, it's whatever particle board. Yes, but some laminated of it, particle board. It's swelled up. Some of it got wet, so it swelled up. So one of my drawers doesn't even open anymore. It yeah. hasn't opened in like a decade. <laughs> so when we moved, I was like, this dress is not coming with us. And then somehow when we got here, so movers moved the furniture. When we got here, this was three years ago, almost three yeah. years ago. The dresser was in our bedroom when I went upstairs and I was like, oh, how did this dresser get here? It was not coming with us. So I made him put it in his closet. <laughs> I was like, if you're keeping it, it is not sitting out here in this master bedroom. It's not sitting out here. So he put it in his closet and now it's time. I think you're ready to let it go. I'm ready to let it go. <laughs> so we're moving that out as well and we're gonna build a shelving rack. The point of all that was, we're gonna build a shelving rack. He doesn't want a dresser. No. He wants to. Put able, his, I yeah. gotta see my outfits. I don't need to open drawers and peek inside and flip through. It's not a filing cabinet. I just want to walk in and see what color shirt I need. Yes, he wants to be able to stack his shirts and look at them. I think this is a. This goes with ADHD, really. Uh, he wants a place to put all of his jeans. He can see his jeans. He can see all of his shirts. I'm not sure, like, where your 
what is it? Your personables, your intimates. Where are those things gonna go? My undies. Some bins? My yeah. undies is going on a shelf too. <laughs> My undies are gonna be Audis. <laughs> so anyway, we have we have some ideas. So step one, let's get everything out of that closet. Take down that builder grade wire shelving. This stuff is just ugly. All right, let's get that out. So we had some issues removing the wire shelving. We have a new lesson learned for you guys. So now that we know how to do it, I can tell you how to do it. You need to use a flathead screwdriver to pry out the nail before you remove the bracket with the drywall anchor in the back because it is spread open with the nail. So once you move, remove that nail, you can pull the, dry, the bracket and the drywall anchor right out of the wall and it does leave, a, it still leaves a pretty big hole that has to be patched, but it doesn't leave a four inch hole that has to be repaired. Uh, that's what we had to, had a little side, what kind side of, project. What kind of ape would just go yanking at wire shelving? <laughs> right? So we had a day, we had a day delay in having to patch that spot and fill it in. It's a cute little patch thing though. It was a whole little patch kit. Just stuck it right to the wall, out of the mud, let it dry, sand it. We were good to go. Do Back little, in business. Do a little paint. Good to go. Good yes. to go. Now we have our closet all painted. It's got a new little color scheme in there. Step two. We're going to do some measuring and planning. We're going to measure out what kind of space we have in our closet. We know what we want to do and I'm going to decide how wide the shelves are. He still needs a place. He does have a few suits. So he's got a place for some suits, some button down shirts, some dress clothes, and then the rest of it I want it to be, or Shoes. our plan, no. Shoes no. and hats. <laughs> As yeah. far as the eye can see. Yeah, we didn't even mention the hats. For every pair of shoes, he has a hat to match. So yeah. he has just that many hats. That's another. Hat and shoe. Now, the bottom half is going to have the dress clothes. The top half are, is going to be shelves where he can put his so folded clothes. It's like a mullet, except it's like a reverse mullet. It's like business, business down bottom, below, party, party up top. top. <laughs> yes. Step three, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. Now we know what size the room is, like exactly, and we have everything planned out. We even planned out a little, like, closet storage rack thing. Now it's time to gather all of our materials. So we needed 19 two by fours. We ended up just getting 20, just in case somebody yeah. messed up a cut. Eight foot two by fours, yeah, yes. Eight foot two by fours. We needed a four foot piece of pipe. That's where I'm gonna hang all my clothes and some floor flanges. You know, that's how we're gonna attach it to the two by fours. We need a bunch of brackets, like a bunch, like two for each skateboard. And I have five regular standard skateboard decks. And I found five plain longboard decks. Right, L brackets are gonna be for the shelving units for the hats. The hats. The corner hats. For and the then, yep, for the skateboards. So I'm expecting, what do we have? 10 of these. Mm -hmm. And I think we said. 10 shelves. 10 shelves for hats too. 10 shelves for hats? Yep. Okay, so times 20. Kind of match them, line them up. 40, 40 brackets yeah, here. I think there's like 40 brackets. And then of course a new light fixture. Because we have that corny light in there. And if and I'm going to do worst. cool skateboards, I don't want that like nipple light. <laughs> that is uh, the Oops. most boring light in the world, yeah. yes. And I have some sheets of MDF that I'm going to use for my hat shelves. I went with MDF because it kind of looks like skate light and it reminds me of uh, ramp surfaces. Bring it back to the ramps. Step four, we're going to make all of our cuts. We're going to cut 22 by fours at 48 inches long. We're going to cut 14 two by fours at 14 inches long. And then we're just going to leave uh, four two by fours at 96 inches long, eight feet. So we're basically, for each end, we're going to make a rectangle. 
And then we're going to add just brace supports for shelves all the way up. And we should make all of these cuts with my pocket saw. Wow, that thing went like up in the air. You did. He's light, he's light like that. He just slips right out of the pocket. Right out of the holster. <laughs> I'm going to make a quick draw with this thing. <laughs> yep. I'm going to make all my 14 inch cuts using a stop block. I'm going to measure out 14 inches, clamp it to the table, and that way every cut should be 14 inches exactly. And if they're not, every cut should be off about the same. So measure once, cut 20 times? Measure once, cut 14 times. <laughs> and all the other 2x4s we're just going to cut in half. Since they're not a true 96, we're going to measure 48 inches from one side, 48 inches from the other side, and split the difference. Safety first. Cuts are done. Got all the little 14s. Now these little 14s need pocket holes so that we're going to hide the screws so it looks nice and fresh, nice and neat on the front side. Fresh, fresh, so fresh. Baby, you want to make some pocket holes? Yeah. You want to make the pocket holes? I got you. Hold on, I'm mm, Safety first, y'all. What's 4 times 14, babe? Yeah, 56. Many, 56 pocket holes. It's a lot of holes. How's your arm feeling? Beefy. Beefy, yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, some of these edges are looking a little rough, a little frayed, and some of these holes are looking a little frayed from the pocket holes. So we're gonna sand this up, but I have a, I have a dilemma. Yeah, he does. I don't know what to stain this little uh, shelving unit thing. I like the like raw wood look of the skateboards. I like natural. that a lot. The natural look. So I don't know if I want to keep this natural or like uh, stain it briar smoke. Yes, he he's like, oh, I won't I won't stain it at all. I want to just keep it the natural wood. And then I was like, you're just gonna look like you got two by four lumber's in there. We don't we don't want to just put lumber in there. Not lumber's. Lumber's. Two by four lumber's. <laughs> lumber's jacks. Just lumber in there. It's just it would look unfinished. So then we talked a little bit about maybe we would just add a coat of poly on it and just give it a finished shine to it, kind of like that thing. Um, but I'm still I'm still not sold on that. So I'm I'm influencing and pushing a little bit that we go ahead and stain it a color and we're gonna I think we're gonna do it in briar smoke. So I guess we'll do it in briar smoke. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to do it, so we're going to go ahead and stain it uh, dis unassembled and because we can't make this thing and take it upstairs, it's too big. So we're going to have to stain all of our pieces and assemble it when we get to the closet. Yeah, assembly should be easy because all the pocket holes are done. So sand and stain. Let's do it. go back to the home improvement store because we ran out of sandpaper there was a lot more sanding than I thought there would be and I found this stain instead it's colonial maple I thought maybe we'd try to match the skateboards I decided I hated this stain it looks nothing like a skateboard I'm just going to leave it natural, so either this is going to go on the bottom of the bottom shelf or the top or the top of the top shelf so nobody sees it. This 
This is horrible, it looks orange. I don't like it. Step five. Ooh, now we're gonna assemble it. <laughs> so we're gonna start our assembly here in the studio and then we will assemble the rest of the shelving unit in the closet. So we're gonna assemble the end brackets, which are basically a large box on either end. And then once we get upstairs, we'll start adding, adding the shelves every, would you say every foot? Yep, like every foot. Yeah, we're gonna, starting at four feet up because we need enough room to install a- Bar. Yeah, <laughs> yes, for, for clothes, for his suits and things like that. My suits and ties. For, for hanging items. My hanging items. My hanging items. My goods. <laughs> All right, and as we mentioned before, we opted for the no stain look, so well, while this may not look finished to you, it should go with the aesthetic of the closet. It's very skateboard-esque. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the plan. Sides are all pinned together. We're going to take them up to the closet and put them in place. We're going to attach the shelves with this one and five eighth inch screw. You know, as we add the shelves, it'll become more stable. And I ended up ditching the 2x4s and I went with a 1x12x48-inch project board uh, because uh, the 2x4s looked ugly. Step 6. Now we're going to install the skateboard shelves using some L-brackets. And we need like a thousand wall anchors. Yes! <laughs> So we're going to use the wall anchors to secure the L brackets to the wall. Before I get the skateboards all the way on, I decided to add some LED lights to make it pop. Yeah. <laughs> Then we're gonna use some Gorilla Tape on top of the L bracket to hold the skateboard in place until I can secure it with this little half inch screw. I rounded out these shelves. I used the Glowforge to cut out some shelves for my hats. I could fit three hats per shelf and we use the same L bracket technique for these shelves. Even more drywall anchors. Even more holes. We just patched a bunch of holes. Step seven. Woo, still caught it. Now we install the light. Uh, that ugly nipple looking light thing has to go. I can't have some cool skateboards and some lame, lame light. <laughs> Kim's gonna go kill the power and I'm gonna change out the light. Last step, the most dreaded step, putting everything back in the closet. So what'd you think? You jealous? <laughs> I know you are. I, it turned out way better than I thought it would. I mean, it looks like a van shop. I'm, uh, I'm happy with my closet now. And I can see everything, and I know where all my shoes are. I can see all my clothes. 
Oh, I'm happy that now. you're happy with it. And it seems like it'll be functional for you. As I started this project, I think I shared, you know, those with a little ADD can't handle their stuff hidden in drawers. So yeah, yeah. I think by keeping these things on these shelves, Garrett can see everything that he has and he'll be able to use more than the first thing that's on top, you know, three shirts and one pair of pants. I, I, I kind of <laughs> just recycle the things as they come out of the wash. Uh, I don't think I've worn anything that's been in that uh, dresser in a year. <laughs> All right, it's time for me to go. <laughs> so uh, if you're not going to join us for the after show on Patreon, uh, I guess I will see you uh, next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And uh, I have nothing to balance because everything's in the closet. So I'll show you a bunch of closet shots right here. <laughs>